again. Okay. Okay, so Beverly, you're back again at the Asian Awards. Um, it's uh, almost a second home for you. Why do you keep coming back? Well, um, I keep being invited. Um, I performed, um, I think it was three years ago yes. now that I performed. Um, and then, thank you. And then hurried back after one of my performances um, on stage in the West End to be here. And, and now I'm here again tonight to present an award. I just think that um, we don't always see in mainstream television in, enough Asian faces and I think it's so important to have an award ceremony like this which shines the light on the huge contribution that the Asian community has made to Britain and globally um, to celebrate you know themselves so I'm here just as a kind of supporter having grown up in and amongst the heart of a huge Asian community back home in Wolverhampton. I mean, you are honorary Asian. With, let's face it. <laughs> My best friend said yeah, as well. You are. You are. <laughs> I mean, so look, if I was to say to you, Mother Teresa was being awarded tonight wow. for the Founders Award, how does that make you feel? That's, that's huge. I mean, huge. It's just, I mean, what she did, her legacy, that is such a huge, huge honour and such a thing that, you know, will resonate throughout the entire Asian community and beyond. So. Do you think it goes as far to say a lot about the award show that's recognising not just the glitz and the glamour, because there is a lot of that happening out here on the red carpet, but the actual sentiment that comes about being human? You know, if you take away the Asianness, let's look at the human element. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, Mother Teresa was the ultimate humanitarian, as we all know and as we all witnessed. And her compassion, her love, her grace, you know, it went way beyond culture, it went way beyond skin tone it was just pure humanity so the fact that she has been honored in the room i think that will be a really special moment in the room tonight so finally i just want to speak about you and your own achievements and your excellence i mean we talk about excellence like it's uh, something we aspire for everyone i speak to about excellence sort of says we don't aspire for excellence we just do what we love doing mm -hmm. uh, would you agree with that or do you have a different tangent uh, for me I do what I love and because I do what I love, I strive to be the best at doing what I love. There is a hunger and a drive which makes you try and hone your skills the, in the best way that you can so that when you stand on a stage, ultimately, you know, everyone can feel that passion and that drive and that determination and that love with you. And finally, the audience seems to be getting, this is the sixth year of course, younger and younger each year. <laughs> there seems to be, because in year one we started, a lot of silver-haired uh, yes. people are coming and being awarded, yeah. but it seems to be getting a lot younger. Do you think there's something about London that brings out young, high achievers? I think you're seeing a seismic change um, in London, um, where you're seeing a lot of young people who, in the midst of difficult, you know, kind of economic situations, they're turning their hand and, and, and doing what they can do to further elevate themselves. And I think that's a really positive thing. The other thing I would have to add is Zane last year. Yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't ignore the Zane factor. You can't ignore Zane. <laughs> and Shah Rukh combined. Oh my God, Shah Rukh Khan being here was, yeah. Yeah. was a big deal. There that was a big go. deal for me even, so I was like, Ooh. Well, for us, Beverly Knight being here is a big deal too, so, oh, well, thank so thank you for being with us again. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.